Hello guys, how you doing? It's me, Jack, mate, but you already know that. Follow me on Insta if you want. I post shit. I wouldn't bother. Anyway, today I am going to share with you a big secret. I love smack. <laughs> that's not, that's not the secret. My big secret is that I don't think the calendar was that bad. <laughs> I can't go one bloody video without mentioning it. It's like a disease. Gee, I really need to have a day off. Well, then he was right. Obviously not. The secret is, in the year 2012, I spent a week in the Big Brother house. It's true, I did. I spent a week in the Big Brother house as a guinea pig. Now, what a lot of people don't seem to know, and I didn't until I was one, is that before Big Brother do the actual show, they get a bunch of contestants that apply, to, like all the other contestants, and put them in the house and make them do the exact same stuff that the normal contestants would, but it's not being broadcast. However, when I went in for a week back in 2012, I wasn't told that I was a guinea pig. So, although I knew some things weren't quite right, as I'll go on to explain later on in the video. I kind of did feel that I was being broadcast to the nation. Today, for the first time, I believe, I am going to share with you my best bits from the house. It's cringy. I've got me old jaw. Although, having said that, my hairline's a lot better back then. So, swings and roundabouts. And this is kind of like a double upload, because if you guys like this video a lot, and you like seeing my best bits, and you want to hear some of my stories from the house, then all you've got to do is click the top link in the description down below, and that'll take you to my podcast channel, because I've just uploaded a clip on there at the same time this video went out in which I talk about all the stories and all the sort of like snidey games I played when I was in the house. It's quite good and I recommend you check it out. And also before we get into the bulk of the video I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored and it's a good one this week. It is a good one. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. You may have seen a lot of your favourite YouTubers and me talking about this. It's internet safety mate and we all love being safe don't we? Now you know when you go somewhere public and you sign up to the public Wi-Fi, like on a train or a uh, uh, in a, in a coffee shop, McDonald's, that kind of stuff. You sit back in there, one hand on Twitter, like that, a chicken nugget in each cheek, and you think, life is sweet, life is cushy. But life isn't always sweet, even with nuggets. That very Wi-Fi that you're using could be unprotected, meaning that people could get your data. They could get their grubby hands all over your data. And that is not what you want. There is nothing worse than stolen data. Apart from maybe stolen nuggets. So this is where ExpressVPN comes in. All you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below to download ExpressVPN or just go to expressvpn.com forward slash jackmate and you can have three months for free and then after that it'll be less than seven dollars a month and it's worth it because no one's gonna, as I keep saying, do that on your, on your data. Because if you don't have a VPN then before you know it, boom, your information could be stolen and you can be cold, lonely and without chicken nuggets and that is the worst place to be. Now with that said, Let's jump into reacting to my big brother best bits, if you can call them that. You really can't. It's the most famous house in Britain. It's bigger and better than ever before. This is genuinely going to be embarrassing for me, but fuck it. And it's about to welcome nine new housemates. Day one. 2.13 p.m. See, as I'm walking into the house here, this is when I started to have my suspicions as to, is this really going on national television? Mainly because it was during the day. If anyone's seen Big Brother, you know you usually go in at night time. It's all a big celebration. There was no presenter, no Brian Dowling or Emma Willis. Oh, hey, you right? What are you going to do there then? There was none of that. None of that. I was just, go up there, go up them steps, see the eye. Take a left there. So I just walked up to the eye, not really knowing what's going on. The doors opened. I shit you not. The first thing I see was a guy on his knees just hammering in the set. Alright, boy. Swanky. Firstly, I took my shoes off because I wanted to be polite. Secondly, yes, I forgot that I weren't wearing socks. Thirdly, they are prime up themselves. And fourthly, I don't know why I was walking around holding them. Just leave them near the door, Jack. You ain't got to bring them. No one wants to see them. Loving a bit of this. This is Big Brother. Would Jack come to the dining room? Of course I bloody will, big brother. Well, I like this. It's gonna be difficult for you. I understand it's gonna be a very difficult time watching this video, but please ignore the mullet. I didn't realize you could have your sides cut. Just, I just got a big lump of ginger. Oh, a big lump of ginger. Hello, Jack. Congratulations. You were randomly selected to be the first lucky housemate to enter the Big Brother house. No, it's crazy. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? Because that dirty foot is actually bigger than any career Big Brother's made for any previous contestant. However, your luck comes at a price. When all the other housemates have entered the house, 
You alone will then nominate two of them to face this week's public vote. Now, admittedly, most people would hate this. You're now about to meet your housemates for the first time and you've got to nominate them to their face. I didn't hate it. In fact, I quite liked it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, loving this. Do you understand, Jack? I understand fully, big brother. Buzzing. Get this show on the road, then. Oh yeah, this guy, Cooper. Don't get me wrong, he was lovely. Uh, he was kind of like, he's cute, he's like, you just want to do that to it. Oh, you all right, mate? But he kept coming out with loads of like shit jokes. Not shit jokes, because this is all this channel is. I'm talking about shit feet jokes about feces. Jack, you've walked forward. You have been fined, yet another fine. Thank you. <laughs> do come and get yourself another ticket, please. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Jack! Let me off, Coop. No, not this time. Time of offence, approximately 11.58. This could be a career change for the old Coop Diddy Coop. Would you not say? Community service. Let me speak to Big Brother. Well, Big Brother's not called you yet. No, but they will. Well, Cooper, come on. Well, nah, seriously. Please. I, I already pressed... I am a warden. I can't believe that I just got Alfred by Al Murray in his fucking megaphone. I'm, I'm... Honestly, I'm fuming. I pressed the button first. Look, follow me. No, I'm asking another warden. Excuse me. Housemates who have been issued two tickets must complete a community service punishment. You're taking your job too seriously, mate, honestly. Nope. Oh, put some socks on, you utter grieve. Why am I just strutting about like this is the norm? That is so horrible. I can't watch that. 107 p.m. Jack is going nuts doing his punishment. He's been separating nuts and bolts for the last hour. It was actually longer than that. It was actually an hour and a half. And I can tell you now, it was the most dullest hour and a half I've ever had to experience in my... It was the second <laughs> dullest 90 minutes I've ever had to experience in my life. You can stop me doing this whenever you want. Why? Because I've only got to do it between half an hour and an hour. It's, it's just the punishment is over when all nuts are on bolts or when the wardens release you from the task. We don't release yet, we've got to finish. Uh, mate, you're a twat. You there you go, Jack. Say how it is. Second nomination is a Cooper because I find him quite vulgar at times. Like, he's, he's one of these people that you, you can't help but love, but you don't, you don't want to. If this was in the outside world and, and somebody I knew was coming out with that much shit all the time, like shit jokes and just stuff like that, I'd just be like, shut the fuck up. Oh, I'm mad. And I, I just think that sometimes he's just, it's just too dirty what he winds us up. But he's lovable, he's lovely, but. It's too much. I mean, we live in times now in which KSI and Logan Paul are having it out every other week. Do you know what I mean? 2012, simpler times. If you didn't like somebody, just go in the diary room and nominate them. Admittedly, you would have to reply to Big Brother with 100,000 other people and then have to get accepted and then travel to Watford and then go to Elstree Studios and then go in the Big Brother house and then find somebody you don't like, then go into a diary room and nominate them. But still, simpler times. <laughs> I wanted to nominate for a bit of fun. There's no fun involved in nominations. Hold them. Pressure. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, there's fun. Oh yeah, this guy didn't think nominations were fun. We're in the Big Brother house, I guess we'll just sit here and eat Cheerios all day. Fuck me. That's the only fun thing we did in there, for fuck's sake. Maybe I am a snake. You play too much of a game, you do. <laughs> you just gotta live your life. Be Mate, visual. we're in Big Brother. What do you mean, live your life? Zing! <laughs> I was proud of that one. I'm still proud of that one. My second nomination is Jack. Oh, this is proper beef, isn't it? I didn't realise. This is bigger than the infamous Jackmate versus Casper Lee debate 2018. Yep, yeah, nice one, big brother. Freeze frame on that for just long enough that everybody can see that I've got an underbite. D19. Jack's protruding lower jaw still makes him look like a human pez dispenser. Because I find Jack's being a little bit devious as far as he's trying to. He tries to judge people and read people from different angles when really. He needs to look at people and take them for who they are, rather than trying to read into them. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Fast forward six years, I've made a career out of it. I feel that 15% of you is lying. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, so the last bit is a, is a food eating challenge in which none of us know what we're actually eating. So it could be disguised as something else. So the good things could be bad and the bad things could be good. You'll see. I don't really explain it. L Louis Spencer's nephew was in there and, and he had this egg, right? And I don't know how they done this to this day, but I can promise you they did. It was an egg shell, but in an egg. It was still an egg. Fuck's sake. They'd taken the egg out somehow and they'd put strawberry jelly in it. That's mental, isn't it? This is actually hard on what it looks. Don't even be saying that's hard when she's eating fucking fermented and he's eating dog food. Fighting the good fight, baby. Don't be moaning you're eating strawberry jelly when someone over the other side of the room is eating a fermented hundred year old egg. But here we go, this is my turn and I got the best thing possible. Get out jail free card. I got some lovely warm apple juice. Woo hoo, it went down a tree, I tell you. Quick, 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 go, 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 smash it, go, go, smash go, go, it, smash go, go, go. it. Unfortunately for you, there is no apple juice in that bottle. Oh, what's that in the bottle? Oh, yeah. It wasn't apple juice. <laughs> it was... Cow piss. Oh! <laughs> flashbacks, baby, flash... That. Do, you know, do you know what the really weird thing was? Yeah, yeah no, I, I wasn't thinking it was that bad. Why did I admit that? Not only you were a 19 year old guy that walks around barefoot with a mullet, you're now a 19 year old guy that walks around barefoot with a mullet that likes to drink cow piss. People had sex in that house. I didn't see it with my eyes, but they were under the covers. But I remember being a 19 year old thinking, why, why do I never get that kind of luck? It all makes sense now. Started out with a kiss, but why does it smell like cow piss? Come on, it's only cow piss. Yeah, it's only cow piss. Now she's calling it a cat. Go on, Jack. Go on, Jack. Go on. Go on, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. She's done the cow piss. Oh, oh you're so a bit. Cooper, you have I chosen bought that. a jar of I bought mustard. That. But guess what? It's not mustard, it's custard. Enjoy. That was really nice custard. <laughs> the whole thing has just been a massive highlight that I'll never forget. The tasks are obviously like, a, just whenever in life would you have to eat like a ham roll with a massive like claw. I like how that's a highlight. <laughs> you went in the Big Brother house for a week, what was your highlight? I had to eat a ham roll with a claw. Eating a ham roll with a claw. There's not a single British vlogger YouTuber that's not done that for a challenge. The fluffy bunny ham roll eating claw challenge. I, in fact, I could be wrong, but I think Ollie White's done a full series on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can. Drinking the cow piss. That's something I'm never ever gonna do again. Oh, cheers for clarifying that, Jack. Fancy having a trim and putting on some fucking socks while you're at it. Just tell yourself it's dirty water. That was the worst advice ever. Just tell yourself it's dirty water. No! I'm telling myself it's apple juice because it's literally in an apple juice bottle. Are you telling me to imagine it's dirty water? It's just as bad as going, imagine that's come out of a cow's dick. I'll tell myself it's apple juice, please. Worst advice ever, for fuck's sake. Down it. That will make me so ill. Oh, it's this is Big Brother. Good night, housemates. Oh, you got it, brother. And there we go. That's it. That is my Big Brother best bits from 2012. I hope you liked it. Usually I say to you if you did, do that, and if you didn't do that. But I think I've actually deserved that this time. Remember, please do subscribe, guys. I'm starting to make videos again quite regularly, so it's nice for all of us, mainly you. In all seriousness, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.